Hello and welcome to analyticshub.io tips and trick video. I'm your instructor Shilpan Patel. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a cyclic dimension group in ClickSense. Unlike ClickView, as you know, in ClickSense, you can't create a cyclic dimension group as a master item. So we'll go over a step-by-step -step process so that you can create one and utilize that not just on one chart, but all the charts within your application. So we'll create that as a master item and then use that on several charts. So let's go over the process first. For convenience, I have already created the master item, which I call cyclic dimension. So let's look at the expression for the master item. The expression could simply be dollar field. Now, dollar field is a system variable which contains all the fields within the data model. So data model contains a lot of tables and each table has number of fields and all of these fields are listed in the dollar field system variable. So I could have used dollar field but I use pick and match so that I can rename some of the fields. For example, customer name will be renamed to customer. Customer country will be renamed to country. Category name will be renamed to category using combination of pick and match function. So that's step number one. Then step number two is to create few variables. So the first variable is V cyclic value. And that is simply just dollar field. So all the values within the dollar field system variable will then be listed by V cyclic value variable. And then I'm using another variable, V cyclic dimension. And I'm using this if function. The reason for that is that if user has not selected any value from your cyclic dimension list, then you need to show a default value. In our case, if no value has been selected, which means that the length of the variable v cyclic value with dollar sign is not greater than zero, then we'll show customer country. Otherwise, we'll show the value that user selects. So that's step number two. Now, step number three is to simply create a list box or a filter that shows all the fields within cyclic dimension group and then apply them on each chart. Third step is to create a cyclic dimension list box. And I did that simply by using cyclic dimension master item that I created. If I select any of these values, my charts are still not reflecting my selection. So what I need to do in this case is simply to apply V cyclic dimension variable with dollar sign expansion in each chart. So instead of customer country, I'm going to change this expression to V cyclic dimension and I'm going to use dollar sign expansion to get the list of values within that dimension group once user selects a particular value and we need to enclose that in a single code. So let's copy this and let's apply that as a label also. That's first chart. We'll do the same here to the table. We'll change the field customer country to V cyclic dimension in dollar sign expansion. And of course, label has to match the same expression. And last but not least is this summarized table also needs similar change. All right, so let's click on done at this point. So if I select value of category, now my tree map is showing beverage as the category and the values within the subcategory. Same way the table showing category, the product name, salesperson, and the summary table is showing categories in descending order. Now, interestingly, I also created a text object that shows top category and it matches with beverages here. Now let's select another value, say country. So now my tree map showing country at the top, 
table showing country as well as the summary table showing the country of USA as the top country and of course this text box is showing USA as the top country. If I select customer then of course the values are customer across each chart. Now let's look at the expression for this text object and that's interesting one because it has combination of we cyclic dim because we're changing dimension value from cyclic dimension group that we created in the master item and then we use for shorted value function because for shorted value function shows the top value if you combine that with agar preceding minus sign again you may want to refer to the video about the first shorted value function but in nutshell first shorted value will show the top value if you use minus sign in front of expression if not by default it always shows the lowest value first so that's it for this video again to recap in order to create cyclic dimensions we followed three steps first we created the cyclic dimension master item using an expression then we used variable to store values for cyclic dimension and then we applied that using dollar sign expansion on each of the chart. So thank you for watching and if you like this video please join our academy by visiting analyticshub.io academy. We have ton of content already planned for the rest of the year as you see including a growing student community so we hope that you will join our academy because one and only one goal we have is to make you an awesome click developer thank you for watching